Are you looking for a more unique layout in your home? Or maybe you're just looking for something very specific to your needs, like an ADU or a fully dedicated in-law suite? Well, I have the builder for you. Today, I'm going to take you through one of the more customizable and beautifully laid out homes. This is the Lacrosse 2 plan, and they have a full multi-generational suite. This home is built by another great local builder here in Southwest Washington, New Tradition Home. So this one is 3,344 square feet. It is five beds, three and a half baths, and it is located in the Cyan Farm neighborhood in the community of Vancouver, Washington. So today, as we go through this home, I'm going to be talking with you kind of how I would be with a client, and I will tell you what I hear other people saying about this plan and other plans and this builder in general, because I want to make sure that you get all of this really good information. But what I love and what I've heard so much about new tradition homes is that their homes are ultra customizable, especially when it comes to layout. So they have over 40 different plans available with five exterior options and many of the plans that they have available have this multi-generational or ADU option like this specific home. So if you're looking for a little bit of a smaller home or a little bit of a bigger home, this isn't even the biggest one they build. Almost every single plan has an option for an additional ADU and or in-law type suite. So now that we've kind of come into the kitchen a little bit, you've had a chance to take a look at some of the finishes here. I love what's going on. They're using that dark charcoal color on these shaker style cabinets. And then they have lightened everything up with the kind of the spotted and striped quartz countertops and that subway tile in the back. But what I really love about this space is how large that island is. It really gives you an option to just spread out and do all sorts of cooking and having people over to entertain. And with New Tradition Homes being a third generation family owned business, they've been here since 1987. They really take into account when they are doing their floor plans how it lives, how it entertains, and what's going on in the community area. A lot of people these days are looking for that multi-generational living to care for aging parents or aging family members. And it's just a great opportunity to do that. Also, people have been doing this thing called house hacking for many years where they have that ADU, which might allow them to supplement some of their mortgage payment with that income. And it's just a great opportunity if you can set it up right to help you with your bills because we all know stuff has gotten so expensive. One thing I want to note about not only this house, this plan, and this community is that, as you saw in that fireplace, that is a gas fireplace. Not all areas in Southwest Washington allow for gas to be run to the home. So in this specific home, you're going to have that gas fireplace for heat. You're also going to have that gas cooktop that you can see right there, gas oven. Also, your heat pump is going to be gas run as well as your water heater. Here we have come to the hallway that's going to lead us down to that multi-generational living suite. But before we do that, over here on the left, we've got the garage entrance and this powder bath. Most of the layouts that they've got have this powder bath on the main level so that you, if you're in the living space or the dining space, do not have to go utilize the bathroom in the in-law suite. You can keep it private and separate, whether it's an in-law suite or an Airbnb. But we'll walk in here. This is the extended version. We have talked about and seen another multi-generational living space in the Laurelhurst plan. But this is the extended one where there is a bedroom. They also have laundry closet, linen closet, bathroom, and a kitchenette. So it is available to be that full in-law suite. And you could probably put like a little cooktop in there or make this like a lot of people have, an Airbnb with a separate entrance to the exterior. You can go through the patio doors if you want. I believe there's also an option to add a door to the exterior within, not just the patio doors. 
But you're gonna see as we continue on, obviously great size for the shower and the sink and the bathroom area. Also the next room we're gonna take a look at is the kitchenette and where you would probably put a couch and your television to kind of hang out. Okay, so while we have a moment, I would love to introduce myself. My name is Cassandra Marks, also known as Realtor Cass, and I have been in construction, restoration, and real estate for 13 years now. And I'm excited to be your guide to everything new construction here in Southwest Washington, Clark County, and Vancouver. I have worked with many buyers and many of the builders here in Southwest Washington, so I can't wait to show you more beautiful homes just like this one. We've arrived in the living space of the kind of ADU multi-gen living area. And obviously people I've talked with were saying I'd put like a little mini fridge down there and we get a little two burner cooktop that's electrical. You can just plug in as well as you can see there's some mounts for electrical above. So you can put maybe the TV up above that space as well. But they loved the fact that this house has access through multi-different areas to get to that backyard if you wanted to, so you're not having to walk through the common areas either. Also, that the whole space outside is covered because as we've spoken, a lot of the winters here are a little rainy and you need that coverage so you can still out enjoy the outdoor area and that's why a lot of people move here not only because it is beautiful but because they enjoy the outdoors and a lot of the people that enjoy those outdoors are very environmentally conscious and that is also what they love about new tradition homes they do a lot of different things when they're building their homes obviously they're using those high efficiency air filters low voc paints they are using formaldehyde free insulation made from recycled products, which is amazing. They're also using high energy efficiency when it comes to heat pumps and water heaters. And they are also pre-wiring the homes for future EV chargers. A lot of builders in this area are starting to do that, but New Tradition has definitely incorporated that much sooner in every single one of their builds. All right, now that we have reached the second floor here, we're gonna take a look at some of the four bedrooms that are up here. It's actually three bedrooms plus a flex space, but things that people always make comments about is in this specific style, they've got the open banister railing, which makes the upstairs seem so much more open, but there are options for that to be kind of a drywalled pony wall if you don't want the banisters and the railing. One question I have been talking with my clients about a lot is if they prefer carpeting in the bedroom or if they prefer that to be kind of that hard surface throughout the entire home. And I've definitely seen a shift in the trends lately where people are wanting to have that hard surface in the, the bedrooms. So I'm kind of wondering, drop it down in the comments below, kind of are you a carpet in the bedroom person or not? But here we've got the laundry space upstairs, very big, obviously. And like I've mentioned in many other homes, this builder is very smart where they're putting the access to the attic in the laundry room, just makes it so much easier to get in there. When it comes to the community this home is located in, it is in the Cy Ellen Farms neighborhood of Vancouver. It's kind of over on the east side. And there are some amazing positives to this neighborhood. Yes, it is very flat. We've got four different builders located in this area. But one positive that people really enjoy is that it is located within the Hawkinson School District. So you're gonna have kids going to the Hawkinson Heights Elementary, the Hawkinson Middle School, and the Hawkinson High School, which is a very sought after school, which a lot of people that are coming from outside of the area don't really realize is there. A lot of people are seeing either Camas or Ridgefield. And when I bring up Hawkinson, they're like, what is that? Where is it? And how do I not know about this? So it is a really great school here in Southwest Washington as well. And if you want to know more about the school, I'll drop a link down below to either Great Schools or Niche.com for you to read more. 
Some other features of this community is, is, is convenient location, you know, just minutes east of Patton Parkway, which over on Patton, they're going to have your grocery stores like Safeway and your convenience stores and maybe a Walmart. And if you're looking for a couple different restaurants, Kindy Thai and a couple bar and grills are over in that area. So there's just a lot of accessibility to the amenities that you're going to need locally. So here you can see we're finishing walking through that ensuite bathroom and we've got the primary closet right here, actually one of two in this specific plan. There are two separate medium sized closets for your needs. And this just kind of goes back again to comments that people have made about the inside of these homes being much more customizable than some of the other builders in the area. They just have done a really good job of making the plans flow together and have really livable options. They also incorporate flex space in both this house and the Laurelhurst, which we have already toured. And it allows for people to be able to live in their home longer and use these flex spaces differently as they spend time in the home and the different needs that they need as the years go by. So at the beginning, it might be a workout room. Later in life, it might be a media room and a hangout room. And we're going to see that media room and flex space here in a few more minutes. We're just finishing up with some of the bedrooms up here on the second floor. This is one of them. One thing we haven't talked at length about is the finishes and the design studio that New Tradition does offer. So they do have a design studio where you go in if you're going to do a ground up build and you're going to be able to pick out all of the selections for your home. They also have some included different feature packages. So they have like a silver package and a gold package. This specific home is mostly in the silver series and we're seeing some of the gold series upgrades where you're going to see those slab quartz countertops in both the bathrooms and in the kitchen as well as tile floors in the primary suite. But there are multiple options. This specific home was designer appointed, also known as kind of a spec home or a quick move in home where a designer picked everything out in this specific home. And then the buyers are just buying what is there versus being able to go into the design studio. But if you like this style of house and you wanna pick out all of your finishes, there are still lots available in Sayelin Farms if you like this area otherwise. There is a beautiful new development that New Tradition is working in right now up in Ridgefield, and that is called Paradise Point. That is opening up here right now and will be building for the next few years. So if you want to be looking into the Ridgefield area, we've got that. Also, New Tradition does have some quick move-in homes available, similar to this one up on North Side on the hill in Washougal. All right, so we have found ourselves in the flex space upstairs. It can be just about anything and everything you need. In one of my client's homes, there's actually a bar set up in theirs. So it is a media room with bar and a little mini fridge where they keep all of their beverages. But I've also seen it set up where there's built-ins and a huge TV. I've also seen that room become a bedroom. So it just depends on what you're needing in your home, but that flex space is offered in many of the different plans here at New Traditions. And a lot of people make that comment where this home will grow with you and they love that. When choosing to go the route of new construction, like this new tradition home, I think it is important for you to have an agent that specializes in new construction because just like you wouldn't want your family doctor completing brain surgery on you, it is important to work with an agent that understands the process, timelines, and negotiation expectations of new construction because the process is quite a bit different than that of a regular resale home. I could give you 10 more reasons why you should use a realtor that specializes in new construction, but that's not why we're here. So if you like this house but are looking for something that's laid out a little bit differently upstairs and utilizes the space a tiny bit better, I recommend you check out this video here on the right. It is the Laurelhurst. It still has that multi-generational living and is also still located in the Cy Ellen Farms neighborhood here in Vancouver, Washington.